Before we begin, I'd like to thank the following members for joining my channel and helping support the community grow more and more. Thank you so much. If you would like to become a member, make sure to push the join button beside the subscribe button. And here comes the video. Hey guys, Oliver Windows here. Today I am back with another video. And today, what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be installing Windows Longhorn build 3706. Um, and as you can see, I'm actually on a different laptop than the one that I used previously. And that's because that laptop, even though it came with Windows XP Media Center, it came with Windows XP Media Center 2005. So it was like, it was too new for these builds. Uh, these builds came out back in, uh, I think 2003. So these builds are too old. I will probably be doing the post beta on that laptop. And if not, then I'll be doing like, you know, older builds on this lap, uh, on that laptop anyways. It's just, it's too, it's too new that it doesn't support what this needs. I, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this. So I went ahead and installed uh, the previous version. What was it, 30, 36, 89? I can't remember which version it was, but basically I went ahead and installed the first version of Longhorn on here so we don't have to worry about waiting. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't run very well, which sucks, but I mean, hey, it is what it is, I guess. Um, I will be switching over to the other laptop as soon as I get support for it, I guess, you know, the proper drivers and everything. I could not get USB drivers working on this laptop. For whatever reason, they just would not work. And I, again, this is me trying to use SDI. So after I install uh, this next build, I'm going to put SDI with USB drivers on a DVD and put it in here. I didn't do much customization except I enabled the sidebar. All right, let's see, is it re responsive? Oh, look at that, okay. So I think the reason why it was really slow when I installed it is because the hard drive I put in this thing, um, I actually found off of another Dell laptop that was old, en it's old enough to run Longhorn, I'm pretty sure. It's just I couldn't run Longhorn on it because I can't, I don't have the uh, power adapter for it. Um, I had this uh, laptop for a while. I found it at my papa's house. Actually, he I think he found it in, in the trash, but I'm pretty sure it works. Well, I know you couldn't hear it on the stream, but there was the uh, log on sound. I got this Dell laptop right here. It's really, really thick. This old laptop is really old, uh, really slow, I guess, just because of how long it sat there without moving around or anything. Here's the back, all the I.O. This was a uh, office laptop, clearly, and it came with uh, Windows XP Professional, so that proves it even more. I'm trying to get it to focus on this adapter right here. There it goes. See, I don't have a power adapter for this. It's got, what is that, five, H, uh, five USB ports? Of course it's Dell, so it has to have its own custom little uh, IDE hard drive adapter. Without further ado, let's go ahead and set up the date and time for the net, this build that I'm about to install here. But I don't remember this taskbar being transparent, a taskbar. I don't remember this sidebar being transparent on the uh, other laptop that I used. So I'm pretty sure that it's working fine uh, when it comes to the Direct 3D. All right, so I got my handy dandy papers here. As you can see, we are, we are on build 3706. Unfortunately, I don't have the build after 3706 on, on here, but I'll figure that out later. But it is October 29th, 2002. So we got October 29th, 2002. See, this build came out like before Windows XP SP3, I'm pretty sure. Let's eject this disk and put in the new one. All right, let's see if the auto install pops up automatically. Yeah. Let's see, check system compatibility. Does this actually work or does it just bring up something? Okay, interesting. All right, get out of here. Um, oh shoot, I pushed exit like a dummy. Now I gotta sit here and wait for it to load. Let me go ahead and look up the product key for this. All right, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade. It still looks like Windows XP, so they haven't done too much to this. Yeah, there's the product key, all right. This must be when they first introduced the download updated system files thing. I don't even have my uh, Wi-Fi card in this laptop right now anyway, so I, I can't really do that. Man, that's crazy how many improvements they've added uh, over a month. Holy crap, it says 51 minutes. 
It must know how slow this thing is. So while we wait, I'm going to go ahead and read off the new features and changes that has been added to this build. So the default wallpaper has changed to an Aura image, sorry, an Aurora image with the Longhorn logo, which is amazing. Wow, it's already restarting. The Plex theme has been slightly updated to be in a darker color. Okay. There is now a download manager in the control panel. However, it doesn't work and opening it only results in Explorer hanging. The desktop co compositing engine has been updated and now has animations for windows that are closed or minimized. It can also be enabled in the display properties. A video card driver with Direct3D is, is needed. The Explorer details are enhanced in the icons in that the icons are now enlarged and animated by slowly rotating back and forth. You know, I've never seen any of these animations before. This build updates the copyright date in Winver from 2002 to 2003, despite this being, you know, compiled in 2002. The start page launcher has been updated and is now more complete. The sidebar can still be enabled, but doing so will always attach the taskbar along with it. Alongside that, the sidebar also includes the following widgets by default, clock, slideshow, quick launch, and search bar. The UBI no longer includes the question mark indicating if the user requires help at the beginning of the UBI. However, the next page includes it, just without the animation. In search, preview pane is enabled by default. The letters Q and Z have been removed from dialer. Okay. Uh, apparently there's new autoplay stuff. Uh, WinFS folders have been implemented in this build. I'm not actually sure what WinFS means. Uh, the My TV app is now a thing, which opens in an Avalon container in Internet Explorer, which is interesting. It doesn't... Oh, okay, so this build introduces the briefcase. And you have to run a command to open it. And the people sidebar is also in this. There's an Avalon-based display properties, whatever that means. 64-bit edition? What? I didn't even realize that. Wait, it said 64-bit edition, but this is a Pentium 3. I don't think it has 64-bit support, so I wonder why it calls itself that. Well, it's installing. I don't understand why it calls itself a 64-bit edition if this laptop only supports 32-bit. Unless the Pentium 3 does support 64-bit, which is news to me. Well, so far the install has been 10 minutes, I think. It says 39 now, so that's actually accurate, surprisingly. It always says 39 minutes on this uh, setup screen. Like, no matter what, it's always 39 minutes when it's on this part. An error has been encountered that prevents setup from continuing. This is not the first time I've seen this error, actually. System file time out of sync. What is the BIOS incorrect again? Even though you guys watched me change it, that doesn't make sense. Who knows how long it'll take to load though, that's for sure. Well, okay, let's press enter. Set up windows now, press enter. Yeah, yeah, there's previous versions. Uh, let's see, install, C, format with quickly, F, oh, there we go. All right, now let's uh, formatting quickly. I wonder, I wonder when this setup screen changes from Windows XP Professional setup to Windows Longhorn setup. 39 minutes. Let's see how long it actually takes. I wish it would go much faster than 39 minutes. Alrighty. My name is Gabe. My organization is A-O-W. Sorry, my W key's a little stuck. There we go. And time for the freaking product key again. Alrighty. L. <laughs> All over Windows L? No, I'm not doing that. Let me, uh, A. A O W long one. There we go. Well, it didn't pull up the network, so that's pretty interesting. <gasps> hey, look at that. Something's happening. It's definitely not finished. It's still got another menu to go through. It's gonna, it's gonna mention the display change it's going to do. Longhorn XP Professional build 3706. So yeah, I just copied the wrong ISO last time. See, I was right. Changing the display, then it's going to get bigger, and okay. That's just normal Windows XP setup stuff. 
Well, the screen's just black. I need to make a video on my Windows 95 computer I have over there. I bought it for like a hundred dollars, a hundred something dollars a while ago. And I used it a little bit. I put DOS 7.1, the Chinese mod on it. Oh God, the copyrighted music. Hang on a second. Let me turn that down. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is going to take a long time to load because it did last time when I installed the last build. Bum, 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 bum. That's what the song would sound like because they got rid of the original uh, title.wma. All right, I am screw off about the activation. I don't have internet. I have internet, I just don't have the uh, internet adapter. My name is Gabe. Next. Thank you. All right, let me uh, turn this back up and press finish at the same time. Never mind, don't do that because I forgot it's going to take forever to load. Let's see it. Let's see build 3706 and hear the Windows XP startup sound, of course. Well, there you go. Windows codename Longhorn. Are we going to hear anything, though? And there it is. The Windows XP start sound. Oh. There's the start menu. It says that Plex was slightly darker blue. I guess it is a slightly darker blue color. There's the tour pop-up that's about to pop up. You can just barely make out the little square. What the heck is my icon? It's two horses. All right, we are officially in Windows Longhorn XP Professional build 3706. I just read down here what it says at the bottom. I don't know why I read it that way, but... Um, so, as you can see, the start menu and the right-click menu is actually different colors. Like, it's the same blue color, but it's, like, darker, I guess. Um, so, I guess what we should do is first go into the properties. Um, the graphics driver is actually installed. It just doesn't look like it right now, just because it's in the wrong little aspect ratio. Uh, I'm going to ignore everything here and turn this up a little bit just so I can see it a little bit better. See, the graphics driver is installed. So it says this is the exact, this is the exact uh, graphics card that's built into this thing. And watch what happens when I turn it up more. When I turn this up, I like, let's do the highest possible. Press yes. You see how it's cut off weird? I can do this. I can move the screen around, which is very, very strange and unseen anywhere else. So, since we got display properties open, let's go ahead and check the themes here. Okay. So, yeah, this should be the default Windows XP theme. Let's see. Oh, what the heck? The background changed. Hang on. But, yeah, it is isn't default Windows XP. Okay, cool. Let's do this. I don't know why I didn't apply first. Nice. Longhorn M3 build. This is the first M3 build I've ever seen look like this. Uh, because I never actually had this build until recently. All right, so next, let's see, anything special on the desktop tab, maybe? <laughs> it's named Bliss. Right here is how I'm going to prove that the display drivers are in fact installed. Well, there you go, there's your proof. Let's go down here and go to properties. I hate when task manager is always on top. Enable the sidebar and apply. Well, there's the sidebar. Where did the uh, taskbar go? Look at that. Okay, I just realized this is the taskbar now. There's the start menu. Or the start button. Weird. Okay. Alright. Now where are these animations I've heard so much about at? As you can see, the uh, ta the sidebar is transparent. There's the background. All right. The thing. This is weird seeing the taskbar over here instead. I don't know what Microsoft was thinking. I've always hated sidebars, especially with Windows Longhorn. Oh, that's what it means. That is kind of silly. <laughs> that is very silly. <laughs> Bro, do they not realize how bad of a quality these freaking icons are? What? That is pretty much, that's pretty much it I can show. Like, that's pretty much all I can show. Everything else is pretty much the same as the last build. I'm kind of glad they got rid of this whole, this huge freaking screen up here. This is kind of stupid and obnoxious. What the heck? That is a weird... <laughs> That's a weird file. Why does it look like that? Is it showing what's inside? Nothing in there. 
I think it's showing the icons that are inside the folder. That's why it's taking so long to load. Interesting. Well. Uh. Okay, I was about to end the stream. That explains a lot. Explorer crashed. That's what it's trying to tell me. Now I gotta wait for Explorer to load before I end the video. Well, the recycle bin icon is there. So, yeah, guys. Um, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Uh, a lot has happened. I've been recording and streaming for two hours now. This is taking absolutely forever just because of how slow the hard drive is. Um, I plan on ordering a new hard drive for this. I mean, I have a new hard drive, but it has Windows Whistler on it, and I don't, I can't really, you know, put a new partition on it just because of how old the operating system is. So, um, unfortunately, I can't do that. But uh, without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Uh, make sure to put go down in the description and check any of the links I have down there. And that's it. So, in that case, I thought I would see you guys later. There we go. Uh, <laughs> I will see you guys later. Goodbye, guys.